Hey there, everybody. I'm CCB Dolan here with CCB Fozzy, bringing you uh, Stay Frosty versus Kids with Knives for the second day of the New Eden Open 2. Uh, a lot of pirate ships on the field here. Why don't you tell us something about them? Yeah, Stay Frosty, our friendly neighborhood low sec pirates, have decided to bring an entire Yar fleet. There is only one non pirate ship, and that's a Merlin, which is really a pretty pirate ship deep down inside, underneath <laughs> the surface. Um, we've got and, a, and a Merlin with armor damage. They've chosen to <laughs> yeah. just give a little bit of a handicap there. We've got a Macarial, which is the first time we're seeing it at this tournament. I was actually just talking to one of our GMs about how we've seen saw a lot of them in the last Alliance tournament, but not so much in the New Eden Open yet. Uh, two Cyanoballs, an Ashimu, which is the first time in this tournament. Three Daredevils, the Merlin. Versus Kids with Knives with uh, the double Armageddon, Prophecy, Sacrilege, Mauler, and double Navitas. A bit uh, similar to what we saw out of No Boundaries earlier in the tournament. Yep. Uh, the Navitas, of course, not seen yet, but the Logistics Frigate. And of course, bringing two of them. So uh, the pretty much the entire Kids with Knives team came in close to the beacon, uh, while we oh. uh, had the Stay Frosty guys pretty far away. But and the Stay Frosty team is a lot Navitas. faster. <laughs> yes. So this Stay Frosty team between the Daredevils, uh, the Cyanobals, the Ashmu, the Macarials, it's going to be able to kill frigs really effectively. There's a lot of 90% webs on that team. Yeah, exactly. They're not going to have trouble killing frigs. Those Navitas, look, you got a web on it, and it speed drops, 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 and it's dead. But yeah, they, but the thing is, they need to be like under the protective envelope of those double Armageddons, but there's like nothing to put under the envelope now with the two Ma Navitas dead. Now the prophecy gonna get to go down as well. Yeah, so the really interesting thing, like there's no reps on the Stay Frosty side either. Uh, so now they've killed the, the reps from the kids with knives, but I'm really surprised that the Stay Frosty team has stayed alive, or hasn't lost a ship in this time already. Uh, those Daredevils taking some damage, obviously extremely fast ships, have a decent amount of hit points for a frigate, but still, they generally don't actually survive all that well in a tournament setting. Mm -hmm. um, this may just be a example, look, look, look at this, the primary Bogun, Bogdan here in the uh, Daredevil, he's doing exactly the right thing. He got shot at, and so he just burned all the way away, so and they had return, to switch targets. In return, Jeffy just gets yeah. evaporated. But Jeffy's, look, he's taking a long time to die too, because he's also moving away. And uh, every second that he stays alive is another second of that sacrilege dropping. Yeah, like that—that that is again a very impressive sacrilege. performance. These frig pals are doing their jobs. Yep. Uh, well, so we see here now the primary moves on to that prophecy. Uh, still uh, sentry drone damage left on the field here with those armor guns and prophecy, and the mauler just a generic brick tank. Uh, there's not a lot easy to take break tanks here, but with no Navitas reps, uh, they're not going to last nearly as long as they would. I just, these Daredevils are, have done their job now. It's uh, ultimately up to the Ashmu and the Cinnabon and the Bacario from here. Yeah, I mean, the Ashmu is that provides some great cap warfare. The Armageddons are doing the smart thing, though, and they've put their newts on it. Mm -hmm. um, and so you'll actually see there's no newts being applied right now to the Kids with Knives team. That probably means the Ashmu is completely capped out and incapable of using its own neutralizers. But uh, just winning the cap war it doesn't really do that much when you're you losing the hit them. points yeah. for. And uh, that being said, though, the Armageddon does have a lot of hit points. If you look at the defense bars, there's actually a lot more hit points still alive on the Kids with Knives mm -hmm. team. Um, so even though they're going to be dropping down and there goes another Daredevil, that prophecy is going to be going away, which is probably going to take away their links, which is pretty important in this. Um, but those Armageddons and the Mauler, those are some beefy ships, yeah. and they're going to take a lot of work to move through. Uh, the Macarial, also um, not an easy ship to kill. You see, you're, you're seeing a shield uh, hardener effect on it. Um, we've seen a couple of different types of Macarial setups in tournaments, including full shield, full armor, and a lot of dual tanked, actually. Um, dual tank Macarial is not a uh, completely unheard of sight in tournaments. What, so. are the, what are the guns on these Cinnaballs? The Cinnaballs, I'll go to. They look to be pretty far away, like farther away than I think they would, be, would want to be, especially yeah. if they're autocannon fit. Uh, nope, they're auto-cannon fit, yep. but they're just using barrage in the fall-off bonus. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So basically, I think they're going to be trying to stay out of the newt ranges of the Geddon if they can. Yeah, exactly. Um, and uh, just sort of picking away at the Prophecy there, which is a fine choice. Uh, the Ashmu is going to drop, probably going to drop a little bit before the Prophecy. This actually is still a pretty close match. Yeah. Um, there's those Geddons are actually represent a fairly significant amount of damage, although it's hard to apply that damage to fast-moving ships. But uh, the the big thing that they provide is just a lot of There's the Ashmu in return. Wow, uh, this is Frosty just up by the smallest margin here. Only four points different, but they're gonna they're gonna drop the smaller, I think. Yeah, and the smaller will go down fast. But so both both Cinnaballs are in newt range of these two Armageddons. Yeah, we're seeing newts on them. That's a very dangerous place to be for them because once their micro warp drives turn off, they're gonna have a very hard time get avoid. Watson's micro warp is off right now. Yep, yeah, there he is, really slow. And but the painter is on the other uh, Cinnaball, so and he's not being he's, uh, he's caught it again. Yeah. Perhaps they have a booster there. The painter has switched. 
and now uh, they've got the new Sunfall, foam material. Sorry. Yeah, I mean, the Mauler's about to drop, uh, but really it's going to be a question of how quickly the damage can get applied onto the Safe Rossi team. Kids with knives, they just need to start reducing damage. That's yeah. the key thing right now, because it is going to be a damage race between uh, the Geddens and the Macario and Cyanoballs. Uh, the attack bar, much larger for Stay Frosty, but because Stay Frosty is going to be operating mostly in deep fall off, actually the applied damage may not end up being that different. The thing is, they're not that far in the fall off. They're all getting nuded. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, they're, they're obviously relatively close. If they can get on top of this Macario, like, to me, the primary here is the Macario. Get to the Macario, yes. shut off its hardeners, try and drop it in the next five minutes. Uh, and if you clear that off, two Armageddons can just out-tank those yeah. two Cinnaballs. And so the Macario is currently surrounded by Republic Fleet uh, Berserkers. Uh, so they're using Navy Heavy Drones to try to take down the Macario coming from the, um, the Geddons. But that first Geddon, Stellar Steve, is in already about half armor. This is a really good place for him to be. The Macario dropping a bit too, though. It's They need to get both Newts on there. They need to get the Newts from both of the Armageddons on that Macario. Yeah, I mean, the uh, at this point, I don't think they're both within range. They are a bit split yeah. up. Um, yeah, they are quite split up, actually. The two Armageddons are not all that close to each Who? other. Who has Rep Drones on that Armageddon? Uh, the Rep Drones are actually coming from the Stay Frost. Oh, no, they're, they're coming from the other Armageddon. They're what? They have to be... They, yep, that's the only place they can be coming from, because they're, yeah, they, uh, there are a set of light Rep Drones on the Armageddon. That seems like a terrible choice to me. Yeah, that seems like the a worst really, choice you really could bad possibly choice. make. The only other possibility is perhaps all of his drones are dead. Other drones? Like, I mean, carrying the flight of light drones yeah. that just has okay, extra okay. space. I mean, that they seems fine. The Armageddon fine. dropping there, yeah. that's going to be Safe Frosty winning the match and kids with knives going home. But, like, it, maybe, you, maybe all your drones are dead. But there's certainly drones in the field that you can scoop or yeah. something like that. Not five light armor they repair They maybe drones. thought that their only hope was to, like, kill one of the sign balls and then just out... Uh, would last them and take it on points with lights but yeah i know light drones are not going to obviously make a big enough difference there that was very very weird um you're, it's a good catch there i was not <laughs> expecting to see that coming at all considering that there was only two ships and they should both have been <laughs> using berserkers on that material i mean I, the material got into low shield yep they would have killed the with only half of their dps on yep. <laughs> like instead of five light armor maintenance yes bus. Uh, that's an interesting choice from mm -hmm. them, but perhaps there were extenuating circumstances. Uh, maybe they'll tell us on Twitter or something like that. Yeah, but perhaps it was just while he was slow boating to some other drones, or like if he was low on cap himself. Who knows? I mean, uh, it's, it's, there's definitely a lot of weird situations that can happen in a tournament match. We don't see what's going on behind the scenes. Sometimes their choices may seem odd, but actually may have good reasons, or it could have just been a terrible. Like terrible the Macario choice. might die. <laughs> Still. I, that, yeah, it's possible, but that being said, then all it takes is the signables have to just But what's doing damage to it? The, uh, it? That's the Armageddon that's left is the Armageddon with the light maintenance bots on the other, on the Armageddon that died. Uh, so and he's going to kill this Macario. He's shooting missiles. So okay. he does have his missiles on his uh, Geddon as well. He does have no, there's no drones on this Macario. Um, the only thing being fired is there, that's going to be a set of cruise missiles. Um, I mean, so the Geddons do have do a not insignificant amount of damage. He can actually win. If, if, if he can catch any of these Cinnaballs, and he's nuding one of them, so one of them is close enough to get nuded, yeah, he I mean, might win. So if this Macario dies, what the Cinnaballs need to do is just get to the other side of the arena. But he's, he's nuded. Then, he's, that's, that Cinnaball is slow boating. It has no cap. It doesn't have the cap to run his bike yeah. drive. This Macario is going to die. What wow. is going on? So Galen Silas in this uh, Armageddon who had been using light drones and appears to not have any drones right now. I mean, like, <laughs> this is a drone ship that is not currently using any damaged drones. I have to say, I'm so glad I'm doing the eight losers match so matches. Losers this bracket is spectacular. Matches. It is just a missile get in with nothing but its missiles versus two Cinnaballs with a minute and 45 seconds left. And now he's, he's target right. painting the Cinnaball that he there's has not no, removed all the There's no newts. And they're both micro warp driving now. Okay, okay. He so, was newting, uh, oh my lord. Uh, for quite some time. Now he's applying decent damage so, here. Those are hitting. The Stay Frosty guys, you know my whole advice about running away? They're not listening to that. They've decided <laughs> they are going to fight to the death. <laughs> and <laughs> so they are right in there. At this point, like, the, the, I don't... The, what they should he's be doing... Nuding, if so they, he's, okay, 
So he's got a bunch of heavy newts in the Cinnabol. Yes. It's target painted. It's he's going to die. He's shooting missiles at it. It's going to die, and Kids with Knives is going to win if he can kill him in the next minute. And it looks like it's going to die in the next minute. So if, say, Frosty wants to actually brawl this out, if they're afraid, for instance, that they can't tank the damage by staying out of the newt range and keeping their micro up drive on, if, and going around the arena won't help, then what they should be doing is loading the closest range ammo they have and getting, and getting at 500. The There's nothing that this get in with no drones <laughs> is going to do to you at, fi at 500 meters that it can't do to you at 20 kilometers. <laughs> uh, okay, this is... so. There is 30 37 seconds, seconds left. left. The signable is still alive. If this arm again... And there's no newts on it now, and it is micro-warp driving had again. Had drones. Oh, it, okay, it's yes. turned on somebody. It's pulse is micro-warp So here's on. an interesting thing. This Geddon is currently sitting about 5 kilometers from a set of Guard 2s abandoned. <laughs> Those drones right there, if you just went the <laughs> other way, like... Just the other direction. He's moving away from the guard twos that could save him. <laughs> All right, another match, <laughs> another, uh, another, another series of of five seconds out. Wildly uncontrollable events. And stay frosty <laughs> with what is actually a great flavor fleet. The pirate corp going with an all pirate fleet. I don't know how good it would do against the top team, but it did the job against kid with kids with knives and their no drone Armageddon that did decided not to pick up more drones. Alrighty, we're gonna see you guys back in the studio in just a couple seconds to discuss this match.